practically live from the Beer to Whiskey Studios high atop Barley's Tap Room on Washington Street in downtown Greenville, South Carolina. I'm Russ Heaps, and this is one of our what we call Big John and Five segments. And that's where I get my good buddy Big John Richards here to pick a beer from one of Barley's 70-odd taps and we talk about it, we taste it, we smell it, we swirl it around and be pretentious with it and uh, talk about it, enjoy it, and maybe learn a little bit about the brewery as well as occasionally some brewing history sort of sneaks into these things every once in a while, and uh, which is a good thing because our job is to spread the gospel of good taste. Uh, it's full-time work, it's heavy lifting, but we're happy to do it and we do it for you. And having said all of that good stuff, uh, what do we have here? Let's get out of that into this. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that nonsense. Right. So uh, today, actually, a pretty, a pretty it's a treat for me. An Allagash and DuPont collaboration called Heartset Saison. Um, Allagash is, a, as you know, a brewery up in uh, Portland, Maine. DuPont in uh, Belgium itself is probably the most responsible brewery in the world for reviving Saison as a style. Right. Um, those of you who subscribe, by the way, uh, will know that we did a Saison DuPont recently. Allagash couldn't stop uh, talking enough about how you know blessed and lucky they felt to be doing a collaboration with DuPont, so they wanted to do a, a robust or a bigger version of Saison, but true to its roots. In collaboration with DuPont, so they've got you know all local ingredients. Their house Belgian yeast strain, locally grown wheat from up there. Uh, they did use uh, what are called Slov Slovinsky Golding hops. Easy for are, you to say, right? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're a relative in the Styrian Golding family. That are all that Czech Noble hop variety, or are, are, um, that was totally wrong. Not a Noble hop at all. <laughs> Occasionally, uh, the Styrian, occasionally. Right. <laughs> uh, the Belgian hop varieties, and it's kind of a Slovenian and a Belgian native hop, and then these uh, brought that over and then used nugget hops as well, so there's a little American twist in there too. This is eight and a half percent, which is a step and a half above what you'd find normal for a Saison, but they've done some, some neat traditional stuff, like use some square fermentation tanks like DuPont does, which is really unique, and then of course the sourcing of ingredients to create something that should come off really nice. These Saisons are fun. They're, they're Belgian summer beer, basically, even though they're a little bit higher alcohol content. Right. Um, the Belgians used to brew this because when you basically had to stop brewing in May for the warm months because your beer would spoil before you could get it into fermentation almost, um, they would brew this kind of higher strength alcohol beer, which is usually in the five to seven range store it caves and keep it cold all summer long and that's what they drink when they come out of the fields. So Saison being the Belgian word for season, you had a seasonal beer there. So there's a little See all the stuff see, you learned. Some history. See? <laughs> if you made it through all that <laughs> <laughs> and you've stuck with us. This should be a neat little beer. We drink these. I love these for day drinking, for brunch drinking. This and uh and half of Weizen are Probably the two reasons I'll never have another mimosa in my life. <laughs> right. Well, I came over uh, between uh, segments. We, we shoot five or six or seven of these at a time. And uh, John had poured these, and I came over and sniffed a big citrus, mm -hmm. big citrus up front uh, on the nose. And uh, so I'm looking forward to this. Should get those nice little funky barnyardy Saison, yep. traditionally Saison yep. flavors towards the finish. Yep. Should be neat. I'm excited for this. I haven't even stuck my nose in it yet, so this is this is exciting for me. All right. Well, <laughs> Let's prepare, do it. Prepare to stick your nose in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can smell the weed in there, too. The yep. sweetness of that grain. Yep. Nice lemon and a little bit of orange in there. A little sour on the finish. Little, just yep, a that's little. that barnyard that's popping up, and that's that yeast that's yeah. giving you those, those spicy kind of phenols. You can smell the fruit in there, but I think the fruit's coming more off of the hops than it is the, the yeast. And that's just me talking about kind of the difference between esters and 
hop aromas. So it doesn't smell estery or, or kind of alcoholy. I don't know what I don't know what Easter smell is. I, <laughs> the, that's why we have Johns because I don't know anything. Uh, right, right off the rails if I'm not careful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is delicious. It is. It is. It's really good. Tell this, by the size of that first sip I took. <laughs> I've got uh, I've got a goddaughter down in Florida who was one of those people who. Yeah, I don't like beer. I can't. I don't like it. I don't want to drink it. I don't know. And, uh, but she does like wine. And so I kind of, we were out uh, at one of the breweries down in Isla Mirada. I don't know. I, I guess last year or the year before, I forget. And uh, they had a saison on the uh, on tap that day. I had them pour her up one and. We have a convert. There you go. She's seen the light. It's beautiful. Uh, thing. Yeah, this is a great. This is a great gateway beer for people who like wine. Lots of Belgians are, but don't, especially don't for don't our like wine beer. drinkers. Yeah. Yep. For some reason, they just seem to translate well. And these saisons are a great gateway beer in general, as long as they don't get too aggressive with those right. barnyard flavors, which sometimes they can. But yeah, man, these these real accessible, easy going saisons, and they're so dangerous. Because I guarantee you could sit down and have this gone, you know, in five, ten minutes. If yeah. I really put decided your, that was what Put was your mind to it. Right? I just like smelling it. The aroma is wonderful. I, I, you don't have any reason to know this, but how do you think this uh, collaboration came about? How? I don't have any inside information about right. that, but DuPont is one of the leaders, and, and they're likely um, efforts to expand and grow their brand. Um, they've probably met the guys at Allagash, Allagash being one of the half a dozen, probably most respected Belgian style brewers in the United States. Right. Very much, very, very much carrying the Belgian banner in the United States. There's, there's no reason they wouldn't have met any number of places. Right. And these brewers meet and immediately just start talking beer. It's one of the most beautiful things about the beer business is the, the level of instant collaboration and instant friendship and instant camaraderie. There's so very, very little bickering and pettiness in beer. It's just everyone wants everyone to be good at it. Yeah. And when more beer shows up, these other brewers just love it. And it's, it's so much fun to hit these festivals watch the brewers interacting with each other because they're just so happy for each other all the time. And there's just, they're, they're, it's such a good, positive friendship base all around the industry. I envision these, you know, the brewers getting together and chatting over a nice Belgian meal and a couple of beers and talking about a beer that they wanted to brew in Allagash, talking about how much they like DuPont, DuPont talking about it right back, and the next thing you know, we've got this beautiful thing in front of us. Well, you know, you mentioned that they're, they're happy for each other, and you know who I'm happy for? Me and you. Me. Yes, exactly, <laughs> because this is what you get. Indeed. Uh, anything else? Nah, let's let them go find it. Okay. Enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.